Big Steve, page 12. And at noon the next day, when she went out to the garden to pick some carrots, she found that they were already cooked and piping hot. She was overjoyed. The heat of the spring water running underneath the garden was cooking the vegetables to a turn and keeping them hot till needed. Big Steve hadn't counted on that when he'd piped in the spring. Still, it was all to the good. But, as it turned out the next day, there was a flaw in the scheme. His mother had sent him out to get six or seven potatoes for lunch. He was just leaning over to dig up the first one, when suddenly the whole potato patch exploded. Bang! Potatoes came shooting up out of the ground all over the place, bursting their jackets in big white puffs. Big Steve dashed for cover. Daisy yelped and followed. By the time his father and mother came running up, it was all over. With a final feeble fst, the last potato had burst out of the ground. Well, that's that, said his father gazing out over the expanse of potholes that was all that was left of the potato patch. Guess the potatoes got overcooked a little, murmured Big Steve unhappily, turned to steam, exploded. You guess, his father burst out. Now I'll have to plant another patch, and this time I'm going to plant it where they won't cook. And do me out of my automatic cooker, cried his wife. Big Steve rubbed his blonde head thoughtfully. Daisy sat alert, expectantly watching him. Maybe I can fix it, he said. After supper that night, he took out a map of the USA and looked it over carefully. At last, he jabbed his finger on a spot in North West Wyoming. That's just the kind of place I'm looking for, he said. A place where nobody lives and nobody goes much. And I'll need your help, he said, turning to Daisy. Daisy thumped her tail on the floor and panted eagerly. <laughs>